Hi there, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Devaru, and in this video you will learn how you can make money by promoting affiliate products using Taboola. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. Alright, here we are at the dashboard of the Debaru Tracker and in this video you will learn how you can make money by promoting affiliate products using the native ads of Taboola ads. All right, so we have a lot to discuss, so let's dive straight in. We're gonna start with taking a look at the offer, of course, and then we're going to prepare the Debru Tracker for the launch of our campaign because we want to make sure that the setup of the tracker is right so that we capture all the data that we need. And then once we have created the campaign inside the Debru Tracker, we'll move over to Taboola, the platform where we are going to create a campaign and where we are going to create our native ads. All right, uh, so first things first, let me show you the offer that we're gonna focus on today. So today's offer is coming from Yep Ads, the affiliate network. So let's take a closer look. And it is the Contest 99 Fit Keto. All right, so as the name already says, it is a keto product, a diet weight loss product. Uh, and we are going to promote this product in France since that's the geo that we can promote this. All right, uh, so here you have a little bit of a feeling of what it's, what it's like. Um, it's a keto product. As we know, there are quite a lot in the affiliate marketing space. You have the keto guru, you have all kinds of different keto offers. Uh, and they're all kind of like the same product, right? I'm not saying they're actually the same product, but they have the same function, diet and weight loss, okay? So that's the offer that we're gonna focus on. So uh, let's start inside the Devaru Tracker and let's prepare our tracker for today's campaign. So first things first, we want to make sure that since we have the affiliate network, Yep Ads, that we have Yep Ads inside our tracker, okay? So I already have it in here, um, but in case you don't, uh, it's very easy to add. Just click on create an affiliate network. By the way, it doesn't matter which affiliate network you use, whether it's Yep Ads or another one, you always have to make sure that the affiliate network where you got the offer from is added to your Devaru tracker. Okay, so inside this list of pre-set up uh, affiliate networks uh, right here, we will find Yep Ads and then we're going to press next. Simply select your workspace and that's all you have to do because the rest is already pre-set up. Uh, so then just click save and you're good to go. Next up, we also want to add the traffic source. So today we're going to use Taboola native ads. So we want to make sure that Taboola is in our list of traffic sources. Once again, I already have it in here, uh, but in case you don't, it's exactly the same process as adding an affiliate network. Click on create, this time obviously click on traffic source, and then you will get a list of pre-set up traffic sources, and from that list select Taboola and click on next. And then once again, as you can see, everything is pre-filled out. Select your workspace and click on save, and you're good to go. All right. Next up, we are going to add the offer, okay? So we're gonna go to the offers tab and click on create and then click on offer. First, we are going to select the workspace again as well as the affiliate networks, which in this case is Yep Ads. Then the country tag, so we're gonna promote this product in France and let's give this offer a name. So it was the Fit Keto, so let's call it Fit keto there we go and right here we have the offer url so we're gonna go to yep ads and right here you will find the campaign link or url whatever they want to call it and we're going to copy this link okay so i'm going to copy this link right here and then go back to the devro tracker and paste it in here in the offer url field Underneath the offer URL field, you will find this line of text, which will tell you if there is any parameter to add to your offer URL. In most cases there is, I think in all cases there is. Uh, so just copy the parameter that is shown right here, and we're gonna paste that to the end of the offer URL. But before we paste it in, first I wanna add a question mark. Okay, so add a question mark and then paste in the parameter that is shown below. Once you've done that, we're good to go. So let's save this offer. 
All right, so now we have saved the offer. Next up is the landing page. So first we need to create a landing page. So to create the landing page, we're, we are going to use the Deboru landing page builder, which provides you with quite a lot of uh, templates, which is great. And you can edit anything that you want. You can upload your landing pages. So it's a great tool to create the landing pages for your affiliate marketing campaign. So let's take a look at the landing page templates and we can filter them by vertical or by traffic source. But let's do uh, by vertical on Nutra. All right, so we have uh, quite some different Nutra uh, landing pages. There are even some more. Uh, so let's say we want to make a advertorial, right? Uh, so let's say we want to use this advertorial right here. All right, let's give this uh, a name. So I'm going to start with the geo abbreviation, which is FR for friends. And uh, then I'm going to call it Fit Keto. And personally, I like to have the uh, affiliate network in there as well. So let's call it Yep Ads. All right, whoops, Yep Ads. All right, create, cool. So now the template that we have chosen is open inside the uh, landing page builder editor. And inside the editor, we can change whatever we want, whether it is the logo that you wanna change, the headline, the images, the pieces of text, the call to action, you can change anything that you want. For example, this is not the bottle that we are going to promote. We saw that right here. It's a different bottle. So then I might want to say, okay, keto um, fit, was it? Or fit keto. Let's get rid of shop. All right. So then uh, let's see if we can find the right image. So this is about the right image. Uh, this is the right image, but not... Uh, the style that we want. Okay, so let's say this is the right image, right? Oh, this is not the right dimensions, but then what we could do is uh, open Canva, make it in the right dimensions, and then once you've done that, you can change this image for the uh, adjusted image, right? There we go. So now it's a bit small because uh, the dimensions are off, obviously, uh, because we didn't crop it inside of Canva. But just to show you, that's how easy it is to change anything on your landing page, okay? Once you're done with editing your advertorial or whatever kind of landing page you want to use, uh, then it is very important not to forget to add a destination URL to your landing page. Because if you don't, then if the user clicks on any link on your landing page, they will not get redirected to anything. And thus we can make any sales. And we wanna make some sales because we wanna make some money, right? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add a destination URL and that's gonna be the click URL. So we're gonna grab our click URL from the tracker first. Uh, to do so, click on your name and click on tracker settings. And then go to the tab tracking URLs and that's where you will find the click URL. So we're gonna copy that click URL and then we're going back to the landing page builder and I'm gonna click on page info and that's where you will find the destination URL field, okay? And we're just gonna paste in that click URL that we just copied from the tracker and then click on the button change links. The links have been updated, which means that now every clickable on our landing page will redirect the user to our click URL and thus to the offer page where they can actually order the product. All right, so once we've done that, we're good to go. So let's, let's publish this landing page uh, and then we can add it to the Debaru tracker. There we go. So I'm gonna copy this link, this uh, landing page URL or uh, S3 link, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna copy it and then go back to the uh, Debaru tracker and we are going to, whoops, go back to the tracker first and then add our lander. So we're gonna go to the tab landers and then click on create lander. All right. First, we want to select the workspace as usual, as well as the country tag. So let's start with that. There we go. Then let's give this lander a name. Well, the geotag's already in there. So let's just do a fit keto. And we've got this offer from Yep Ads. All right, I'm gonna paste in that uh, landing page URL that we just copied, and then we're all good to go. So let's just press save. 
All right, so now we have added the affiliate network, the traffic source, the offer, and the lander as well. Uh, so now you have the option to create the path for your campaign inside a pre-save flow by going to the flows tab and create it right here. Or you can go straight ahead to creating the campaign, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna use the uh, campaign simple, the tracking simple format. Uh, first select the workspace and select the traffic source, which is going to be Taboola. Then we have the country tag, which is going to be friends, of course. And let's give this campaign a name. So fit keto. Once again, I prefer to have the affiliate network in there. That's a personal preference. Um, so do whatever you want, but I like to have the affiliate network in there so that I know where I've got this offer from and where I can check my conversions. All right, the cost model, we're gonna leave that to auto and the transition between ad and campaign funnel. So when the user clicks on your ad and goes to your landing page, how do you want that, uh, that redirect to go? Can it be a direct or a redirect? Uh, we're gonna do a redirect transition uh, since we're doing native ads, so that's fine. And then the campaign destination. So if you chose to create a, uh, a pre-saved flow, you can select your flow right here. We're gonna create a path because we didn't create a flow. Uh, so we're gonna use landers and offers and the transition to offer. So from the landing page to the offer page, I want that to be a 302 redirect. And then we're gonna add one lander and one offer. Of course, if you have multiple landing pages, uh, you can split test them by just adding another lander right here. Of course, then you would also have to add another lander in your tracker first before you're able to select them here. Uh, but for now, we're gonna do one lander and one offer, okay? Uh, so we're in France, so let's see. Um, that's the one, and that's the one, perfect. Let's save this. All right, our, our campaign has now been saved. Our campaign has now been created inside the Debra Tracker. So we can copy our campaign URL because we're gonna need it inside of Taboola. And then we can actually move on to Taboola and create a campaign. So I'm gonna click on create campaign. There we go. First, we wanna give the campaign a name. So I'm gonna start with the geo abbreviation then the name of the offer, and once again, my personal preference, the affiliate network. Then we have the brand name, so let's call it just Fit Keto. that's fine. And the marketing objective is online purchases. Then we have the schedule, uh, so you can start running as soon as your ads are approved, or you can select a specific start date and or end date. All right, so uh, there we go. Uh, you can set an end date, it's optional, um, and then we have the days and hours. So at the start of my campaign, I like to run 24 seven so that I generate data for every single hour of every single day of the week. Uh, but you can also set specific days or hours, which usually I will uh, use later at my campaign during the optimization phase. Uh, when you have plenty of data that will prove you that specific hours don't work or specific days. All right. But at the start, I'm going to go with 24 seven. Then we have the campaign targeting. So first we're gonna do the geo-targeting, the location targeting. So we're gonna promote this product in France. There we go. So it's now including France, all right? You also have the option to exclude, but for the geo, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because usually you only uh, promote in one, maybe two countries at a time per campaign, usually. Uh, then locations to be included. So I'm gonna start with the entire country for the same reason as I'm gonna start with 24 seven, as I just explained. Uh, but later on during my campaign, when I have enough data, I might want to exclude specific regions or states or cities or even more specific postal codes, all right? Then we have the platform. So let's say we only want to run on desktop, okay? And then we have the connection type, which is not available if we're promoting on desktop, but if you would promote on mobile, you can select that you want to run on Wi-Fi only, okay? Uh, I would do that at the start of my campaign. Once again, I wanna generate data and see if Wi-Fi traffic really is performing so much better than mobile traffic, all right? So I need some data to prove that before I start optimizing on it. Then we have the operating system, so you can include or exclude specific operating systems or operating system versions, as you can see right here. All right, 
next up is the browser. So the same thing here, specific browsers that you want to include or exclude from your campaign. Uh, but for both of these count as well that I need some data first to, uh, to analyze and to prove that specific browsers or specific operating systems versions don't work. All right, and then right here we can block specific sites. So basically you can create your own blacklist right here. Then we have the audience targeting. So if you have saved a audience before on your Taboola account, you can include or exclude that specific audience. Uh, you can also use the marketplace audiences uh, and the contextual is for the articles pages. So what kind of category is the website about uh, that you're promoting on, okay? Uh, so for example, uh, beauty might not be a good match for your campaign. So then you can exclude uh, all the websites in the category beauty. All right, cool. So that's how that works. Let's click on next. That's the budget and bidding. All right. Uh, so we're going to start with the budget. Uh, we can set a daily budget, monthly budget or lifetime budget. I'm going to use the daily budget option. So let's set it on 300. Uh, then right here, we also have a spending limit. So we can also set a monthly limit if you want or a lifetime limit. All right. Uh, so let's set a lifetime limit for now. Okay. Then we have the bits. So select delivery method and a uh, bit amount for your campaign. Um, it's uh, above network. Yeah, I can assume. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Cool. All right, and then we have the bid strategy. So you can do a smart bid where uh, basically they will automatically adjust your bid uh, depending on uh, your marketing objectives as well as supply and demand, of course. Or you can do a fixed bid where you manually control your bid. Um, whether you choose smart bid or fixed bid, it depends a bit on what kind of affiliate you are. So this has more to do with preference uh, and time to check, time to work on your, your campaigns, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so it's, it's more something personal. There's no good way or wrong way here. Uh, I like to use the fixed bit. I like to have uh, a lot of control with my campaigns. I have quite a lot of time to check my campaigns, to analyze my data. So I also have quite a lot of time to react on it. So I don't need their algorithm to fix my bits. I'll do it myself. However, if you don't have a lot of time, I can imagine that you might prefer smart bits. So this is a very personal uh, question right here. I'm gonna go with fixed. Then we have the ad optimization. So we can do uh, optimized, uh, which means that uh, the Taboola algorithm will automatically send more traffic to the uh, ads that will generate more income. Uh, or you can do a AB split testing, uh, which means that they will give amount, the, about equal distribution to all your different ads to see how they perform. Okay, uh, you can also set an end date for your AB split testing. And if that end date is reached, it will use that data, but it will go back to optimization, optimized ads. So then after that AB split testing period, the algorithm once again looks now with more data, so more accurate at the results of your ads, and then send the majority of the traffic to your best performing ads. Okay, uh, so you can select that right here. All right, then we have the CPA goal. This is uh, optional. Uh, they do recommend it uh, because it will help you uh, measure your campaign performance, uh, but it's not something that's mandatory. You can also just do it yourself, basically. Then we have the tracking. So we have the tracking code, the third party tags, and uh, if needed, you can leave any comments to the uh, verification team of Taboola. Uh, but let's uh, create this campaign and add some ads. Unable to create the campaign, the spending limit you have selected exceeds the maximum allowed. Oh, we have a maximum allowed. I didn't know that. Okay, well, let's set it on 8,000 then. All right, create and add ads. All right, there we go. So uh, when you create your ads into, inside of Taboola, you have the option to create variations, which is great. I really like that. What this does, instead of the one by one function, where you will add a headline and an image that creates one ad, and add another headline with the same image, that's another ad, you will have to create them all yourself. With the variation, you just type out a bunch of headlines, you just drop a bunch of images, and their system will automatically mix and match all the different combinations and see how those perform. That's what I prefer because that will give you some real good data uh, on which headlines performs best, for example, because you test it with different images. And the same thing the other way around, of course. So that's my personal preference. 
Then we have the landing page URL right here. So that's not gonna be your landing page URL, even though it's called that way inside of Taboola. This is gonna be your campaign URL. So just paste in the campaign URL that we copied from the Debrew tracker. If you want, you can load an image or a headline from the landing page URL. Um, I read or not, okay? And oh, like in general, I don't recommend you to use it, uh, especially if you, uh, if you're, you're using uh, the landing pages with, for example, a blog style, um, it might not really match the flow that you want to create. Uh, so I'm not using that. In general, I would say don't use that. Create your ads yourself. All right, then we have the uh, content. Uh, so this is where we're gonna create our headlines, our descriptions, and our call to actions, as well, of course, as our images. Uh, so right here, we can just create our headline. Uh, so let's say shocking this five second life hack melts body fat while you are sleeping. No diet needed. There we go. All right, if we want, we can also add a description and a call to action button, which you can select right here. All right, so uh, let's say uh, learn more and the description we're gonna skip for now because it's just writing some text, right? You know how to do that. All right, so then you can create the second headline. You can keep going on like that um, uh, until you have added all the headlines that you want. And then it's time to add the images. Uh, so we can add up to 10 images or even uh, videos or GIFs, which are not my personal preference, but it's an option, okay? Uh, so for the dimensions, we're gonna use 600 by 1000. So let's go over to Canva and we're gonna create a custom design 600, whoops, uh, 1000 by 600 in that case, because we always start, of course, with the width. So uh, 1000 by 600, yeah, that's right. All right, cool. So we're going to find a image. We're going to search for an image. Uh, this is, by the way, exactly the product that we're going to promote. Um, but let's see. Okay, are there some interesting images here? Or do we need a different search term? I think the latter. Uh, what's this? Okay, not really what we need. All right, so let's see. Um, weight loss, no diets. Let's see what we get. Mm -mm. All right, we see quite some before and after pictures. Uh, before and after pictures like this, or in general pictures like this, these kind of stock pictures, they don't really perform that well, okay? Um, so I do not recommend you to use those. Uh, but let's see if we can find something else, something better. Something that will generate us more sales, right? Don't feel bad, by the way, if it takes you quite a long time to find the, the perfect image. Um, it's part of the job. It can be very time consuming. Uh, weight, weight loss results, maybe. Just try some different things out. It also depends really, mu really very much on, your, uh, on the angle that you're gonna take. Um, so that's gonna be different for everybody. This one is quite extreme, I like it. Let's save it. And then we're gonna upload it into Canva and see if we can get it in the right dimensions, which is gonna be tough. Okay, because we don't wanna do this, even though we like those numbers, this doesn't make any sense. Um, so then I would probably do it like this. Um, but then you don't really see the results. So we're gonna use another picture. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find something else. Um, also an option is to use these tools right here and select the size large. That way you will get images that are more likely to be in the right dimensions, okay? So let's see what we can find. All right, so let's say we want to use this. I don't know if this is going to be able to get it in the right dimensions, uh, but let's try it out. I think it might be too wide, but we'll see. No, it's actually pretty cool. It's actually good. All right, cool. 
So we have our image and then of course you might want to do multiple images so just create all the images that you want to create and then once you're done we're going to upload them inside of Taboola. You can add up to 10 so just drop them in there and there we go. All right so we have one image and one headline right now which means that we have one ad but for example if you would have added the second headline then you will have two ads because we have two headlines, one image creates two ads, okay? So there you go, all right, cool. And then once you're done adding all your images and all your headlines, descriptions, call to actions, etc., then it's time to submit this. So let's click on submit all the way in the right corner. There we go, and now our campaign is created. It's now time for the Taboola team to review our ads and to see if they uh, comply with all their rules. And if that is the case, it will either go live immediately after the approval or it will uh, go live on your scheduled start date, depending on your campaign settings, of course. And then it is money making time. All right. So you now know how you can make money and how to set up a campaign uh, and promote affiliate products using the native ads of Taboola. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and give this video a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date about any new videos on the Devaru channel. Uh, this is it going to be it for this one, uh, but I will catch you next time. Until then, peace out. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.